Well, Vermont's organic dairy industry has kind of been a big part of Vermont's identity. Vermont is so special. We literally care so much about the soil. I mean, being able to tend to your land, the water, the wildlife. We're more connected to our farm because we own it, we operate it, and we live it. So we try to bring family farm to the highest level. So even the ducks have a purpose here. They spend their time in our water tubs, keeping it clean. That's a pumping station for the water system that goes through the farm. Farmers manage a huge amount of land in the state and in the, in the country. However we manage the land has some one of the biggest impacts on, on our local ecosystems. And so we're bound to have an investment there that we're going to take care of. This was in the 80s. And this, was, this was the washout. This whole bank was bare. Cows were on it all the time. It was just eroding. It all started for us back in 2003 when we were conventional. Our river banks were bare, totally eroded, beat up by the cow. Everything, all these trees are all less than 20 years old. We, had, we created a plan where we planted 5,000 trees and created a river crossing where the cows only cross in one part of the river. It was a huge undertaking, but amazing, it was addicting. To see the trees growing and responding, to see the wildlife coming back, to see the fish you know, come back to the water, to see the people who appreciated it was addicting. That was the start of it. You know, small farms, we, we kind of lack the the economies of scale that a lot of large farms do. One tough thing about agriculture is that it's, I mean, incredibly high startup costs. And the biggest struggle is just getting infrastructure. I think there is a time on small farms where you, it's worth buying expensive equipment, like a piece of equipment like this. Because uh, once I saw it was only going to be Matt and I, I knew that our time was too valuable. And I think the key was to be more productive with our time. A lot of small farms are first generation farmers. Like they just, they're coming in with hardly any capital, or at least hardly any compared to what they need to put in. And you know, bank loans are hard to get. And it, it just takes some initial upfront investment. I'm very proud of these young farmers who just want to farm for the basic soil health reasons and healthy food reasons. So. Somehow, we gotta keep these people working the farm. These are the ones we want. I almost want to adopt them all, because I know they don't quite have the opportunities that I had when I was young with uh, passed down land or these resources were just so plentiful. You know, we have a lot of innovators and a lot of really smart, well-meaning people who care a lot about you know, the, the environment and the health of the community. That leaves and I, I think we're going to have a hard time replacing that. So we learned about the, uh, the Vermont Family Farmer of the Month Award. You know, we were just talking about, you know, what challenges we face on our farm and, and things that would make our lives easier. And one of those, we were just talking about the amount of labor we, it takes in the barn. And that's when we were like, well, this could be a, a good opportunity to apply for the parlor. When Matt came to me with the idea of building a parlor, I didn't disagree with them, but I knew that I had never considered it because we could never afford it. If we didn't get a grant, I don't know if we would have gone forward with it. It's, it's been a huge advantage for us to tap into these resources. To make the operation a little bit easier with two people. Or we can, two people can start milking, but then we can split up. One person can leave and do the pastures, do the scraping, feeding, bedding. I can milk 80 cows by myself today, and I'm not tired when I get done. By bringing new life to this old Thai style barn, which was built back in the 70s, and the designs back then were sort of economy styles. But by bringing this investment inside the barn, it made it worth giving this barn new life, this building new life. And if there's grants out there, that would, those are great incentives for these younger generations to get started.